Hey guys, it's Justin and we're back with our 2022 Bronco build. If you've been following along, this build is a tribute to the late 60s Broncos that ruled the Mexican 1000 race. In this episode, we're going over stage one of our build. If you're a new Bronco owner, maybe your project is going over a couple of weekends with your friends, this might be the end of your project. Stage one for Summit is a great place to start enjoying your Bronco. After a quick alignment, our Bronco was put through the paces, a quick trip to the lake, and some back road exploring. And what we can tell you from our experiences is, Ford has themselves a great platform to build on. With a moderate super lift kit, this Bronco began to take shape and started to look the part. Keeping the suspension components relatively factory was our plan from the beginning, because that's what a lot of the early Ford racing Broncos did back in the day. However, fast forward to 2022, the Bronco's modern IFS suspension can be dialed in by the alignment shop. Unlike early Broncos and off-road vehicles, we were able to maintain our factory ride and comfort without sacrificing anything else. Gaining ground clearance isn't going to ruin your riding experience. The heritage look of our 1552 wheels give a modern matte finish to a classic wheel and they really make this thing pop. The back spacing has been increased along with the whip to help clearance and turning. And the 1552s have a whole segment of these classic looking wheels with modern coatings that you can find at summitracing.com. We chose to wrap our 1552 wheels with the most appropriate tire for Baja, a BF Goodrich. While it has a classic look that we are looking for, these have some modern revisions that still make them one of the most versatile tires on the market today. The Broncos 27 EcoBoost has no problem pulling hills, hopping in the passing lane, or accelerating out of the hole. Finally, we started to protect and improve the looks of this Bronco with some amazing DV8 bumpers. On stage one, we opted for a winch front bumper. Inside that bumper, we put a Warren 10,000 pound winch to ensure that we could get ourselves out of any sticky situation that we put ourselves in. And to help with visibility, the front and rear bumpers got some hella black magic lights. Since LEDs don't really fit the vintage throwback look, we chose something that had some cool looks and a tinted lens that wouldn't take away from the front of our Bronco. So that's about it for the stage one of our build. We still have a lot of parts to put on this thing and a couple of twists and surprises for you guys. So make sure to follow along for stage two where this thing is gonna end up looking awesome and make any 60s Broncos fans happy. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.